Hello, sexy people. So I'm still working on the lawn, but it's still pretty much a work in progress. But I managed to fix the whole motor mount problem. I got some brand new motors. They actually work awesome. Noticing a little bit of deflection still, but uh, I, I have a couple of ideas for some ways around that. Also, I painted all of the nuts in place uh, with a little bit of spray paint, so it actually looks pretty nice now and nice and black. And uh, yeah, well, you know, I'll just I'll just show you. So here we have the the lawn bot, uh, new and improved. Uh, as you can see, the uh, the motors, the, the wheels are all nice and straight and calibrated and aligned. Uh, they're proper wheelchair drive motors now, which is really nice. Uh, if you get a little... You can see that uh, the mounting brackets are on the top here. They, they're not on the side, so I was able to effectively mount them a lot better. Um, to save uh, time and space and whatnot, I... Uh, bolted some small bits of angle iron onto the cross beams here. So they're a little deflected at the moment. Um, if you take a step back, you can kind of see it's deflecting up a little bit, but really not that much. They're almost acting as uh, really rigid uh, shock absorbers for the whole thing. Um, I also mounted the uh, servo right there instead of, like I had it on the actual chassis before and that really wasn't working at all because of the the motor was jittering and it actually stripped all the gears on the old servo so I mounted it directly on the engine now when I turn it on boop it pushes the uh, the thing up there and the choke and everything's cool so I can turn it off remotely still uh, yeah the wheels are considerably bigger here's the, here are the older wheels they're just the dolly wheels that I poured the resin into uh, the newer wheels are considerably bigger than the older ones so this thing actually moves uh, pretty quick. Uh, these new motors are really cool because uh, they have these little gears right here so you can actually turn them off and turn them on. Right now this is off mode and you can see that the whole thing I can just I can roll I can roll it freely just by moving it with my foot which is awesome because then I can push it more like a standard lawnmower if the batteries ever run out on me or whatever, I'm not stuck trying to go against the gears of the motors. I can just flick it, flick the gearing off, and uh, it's in now in neutral. So this is the finished, kind of finished esque lawn bot. So a couple more improvements I want to make. If you notice the uh, the motors actually, or the wheels themselves actually stick considerably further out. Um, than the uh, the blades. The blades are here, the mo the wheels are here, so I've got about, I don't know, I'd say about between six and eight inches where it doesn't actually uh, cut the grass, so I have to do quite a bit of overlap, and if I'm going along a fence or something, forget about it. I end up, I just end up with a, a big fluffy bit along the fence, which sucks. Uh, so what I'm thinking of doing is actually attaching a whipper snipper, an electric whipper snipper motor here, and just, uh, you know, having that be like the little stop gap so it'll, uh, it'll cut all of the grass uh, where the blades are actually missing. Another little improvement that I have to make still, this is kind of a mandatory one, my electronics box, which is made out of uh, just really flimsy tin, uh, is getting all dented to crap every time I go under a tree or whatever. So what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to replace it with more durable plastic, like a hobby box, and then whoop, put it on this side here. So I have to reroute uh, the engine electronics and stuff, but yeah, that's not that, that's not that big an issue. Um, so that should make it, you know, the batteries will bear the brunt, but they're pretty hefty. They're pretty heavy duty. I may even uh, install like a shield that sort of comes up over top of the uh, of the electronics, so that uh, it's not going to explode or catch on fire while I'm trying to go through trees. Because uh, I really just want to take care of the property. I don't want to burn it down. That's just the way I roll. Anyway, yep. Yeah, so this is, uh, I guess, the end of the lawn bot Mark I. Um, it does everything that I had hoped it would do, minus the, the fluffy edge thing. But uh, 
uh, I'll have to address that in the Lawnbot Mark II. I'm also wondering if in Mark II, if I can just remove the frame entirely and just mount everything directly on the lawnmower, that would be really cool.